Hello, double upload today to see in one video what's new about Grease Pencil in Blender 4.0 and in the other one the latest Grease Pencil 3.0 development news, some exciting new features and how you can already play with them. At first glance, there is nothing for Grease Pencil in Blender 4.0, but I promise that there is. The thing is that for the start of the 4 series, the key map was revamped to address some long-standing issues, making shortcuts more consistent across Blender, solve some conflicts, free space taken by old or rarely used shortcuts, etc. A lot of these changes and improvements affect Grease Pencil, and every Grease Pencil artist will need to know about them and adapt. In addition, there is one important UI change, and we'll see it at the end. Before we start, let me tell you about my free beginner-friendly Grease Pencil course in which you can learn the basics of drawing, rigging and animation. The course is made of several parts and the link to the playlist is in the description. Shortcut changes. First, some shortcuts were removed. D was the draw brush shortcut in vertex paint mode. Now to get to any tool in any mode, use the good old shift spacebar. Shift L was used to select alternate points in Edit, Sculpt and Vertex Paint modes. It was also removed from the industry compatible key map. To do it now, go to the Select menu and choose Alternated. And if you use this feature frequently or any other feature for that matter, you can assign a new keyboard shortcut by right-clicking it and selecting Assign Shortcut. 13 draw mode shortcuts related to guides were removed too. It's unclear what they do except O that moves the guide's reference or origin point. If you use use custom under the guide settings, you can move the origin from here. And if you use cursor, you can change the 3D cursor's location with the shortcut shift right click. Some hotkeys were added and others get better support. The upper left 1, 2 and 3 selection mode shortcuts worked in edit mode only and now work as well in sculpt and vertex paint modes. L to select entire strokes has changed behavior. Now it selects the stroke under your cursor instead of the strokes that have some points selected. Hovering over other strokes and doing L will add to your selection, and the new Shift L shortcut deselects strokes under the cursor. Both L and Shift L work in all modes that allow selection, making them especially useful in sculpt mode if the middle mouse button emulation is enabled. As in this case, you cannot use Alt and Shift Alt to select and deselect strokes while sculpting. X flips the primary and secondary colors, it works only in vertex paint mode for now. Shift X to sample weight from under the cursor, in weight paint mode naturally. Alt I on viewport opens the keyframes delete menu instead of X previously. And Shift Delete on viewport deletes the active grease pencil keyframes from all layers, instead of Shift X previously. Press and B in draw mode to box delete strokes works regardless of the selected tool, as does Ctrl Alt right mouse button to lasso delete strokes. Previously, these two only worked randomly when certain tools were selected. If you use the industry compatible key map, there are some changes in it too. In addition to the Blender default key map, Blender has a different set of hotkeys under the industry compatible key map, closer to what other popular 3D programs use. Most of us don't use it, but keep watching because I'll tell you about equivalent shortcuts in the regular key map that you may not know about. The line session drawing shortcut, I'm not sure about this one, was removed. Keyboard top left numbers were used to switch object interaction modes, object, edit, sculpts, etc. Now 1, 2 and 3 switch selection mode and if in object mode they switch to edit mode, number 4 switches to object mode and 5 displays the mode switch in pie menu. Note that the 1, 2, 3 selection mode switch doesn't work in edit mode. This should be fixed in Blender 4.1. In the regular key map, tab switches between the current and edit mode, control tab for the pie menu to switch modes. Press and tilde switches to a different object but maintains the current mode. For this to work, you need to hover over the desired object. In the default key map, the equivalent is Alt Q, a very useful shortcut. Shift Alt left click selects a point or stroke depending on selection mode in sculpt or vertex paint mode. Shift Alt Control left click adds or removes points or strokes from selection. The left and right square brackets decrease or increase brush size. This also works in the default key map. Ctrl L selects linked. It has the old behavior of L in regular key map. Select one point and Ctrl L selects the whole stroke. Alt A opens the sculpt auto mask in pie menu. I to sample weight from under the cursor. 
Shift S replaces I for the animation menu. Shift Alt S to insert a blank keyframe. Ctrl H hides the active layer. Shift H hides inactive layers. Alt H to unhide layers. Y displays the active layer menu. Shift Y to merge a layer down. Alt Y displays the material menu in draw and sculpt modes. Shift Backspace or Shift Delete to delete all active keyframes. Previously on D Backspace, D Delete. Shift F centers view to mouse. Instead of panning, you can just put the cursor on the place you want to center on the screen and do Shift F. Note that it doesn't work when in camera view. In the regular key map, it's Alt Middle Mouse button. Ctrl F in Weight Paint mode summons the radial control to change the weight value. Control left square bracket toggles the toolbar or channels. Control right square bracket toggles the sidebar. Grease pencil overlays. Finally, there's also a user interface change that I spotted while making these videos. Viewport overlays that are specific to some types of objects and modes were moved from the overlays popover to separate popovers for easier access. Among these are onion skin, canvas, and other grease pencil overlays. The still can be turned on and off using the main overlays button. This is it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. See you in another video and peace.